1.6-ethanoic uh, acid, so CH3COOH, is acting as an acid with water. If this is acting as an acid, what's going to happen to that moisture? It's going to go on to... Yep, and this is going to become CH3COO minus. So if I now need to do my acid base pairs, if that is acid one, that boy is base one, that means that he must be base two, and he is acid two, like so. Um, how can a, an ethanol solution has a pH of that? The solution contains both hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions. How can an ethanol solution contain hydroxide ions? Where those hydroxide ions come from? Water, yeah, because water can and does dissociate it. So it's come from the um, water, dissociation of water. Calculate the concentration of hydroxide ions in this solution of ethanoic acid. Okay, so what have they told me? They told me the pH. So if I know the pH, I can work out the concentration. Oh, okay. Well, if I know the pH, what can I work out? I can work out the pOH. Yeah. The pOH is 14 minus the pH. So that's going to be 14 minus uh, 3.06. That comes to 10.94. Once I've got the pOH, I can work out my concentration of OH minus, which is 10 to the minus pOH, which is 10 to the minus 10.94. Um, so that's log. Oh no, that's not the that's not log. Uh, 10 to the minus 10.94. That comes to 1.1. Decimeter cube. Well, yeah, so a student at um, uh, ethanoic acid, so calcium carbonate, can act as a buffer solution. Why end up with equations? So, ethanoic acid, CH3COO minus calcium carbonate, CaCO3. Now, what's going to be the charge of the calcium ion? Two plus three is equal to two. So that means I need two of my ethanol weight to balance it, and then I need CO2 because it's a carbonate and H2O. So I'm going to need two of those boys there to make it balance out. Um, explain why a buffer solution has formed. Well, if you have a look, they told me. I've got excess ethanoic acid, so I've still got ethanoic acid present, but I've also got the salt of a weak acid present as well, so I've got both things, which is why my buffer is present. Explain how this buffer solution controls pH when either an acid or alkaline acid. Right, so always put your equilibrium in that you are talking about. because that's going to help you explain it. So, if I come on, that's the equilibrium that's operating. If I add H+, plus, the CH3, well, the ethanoic ion will react with the acid H+, plus and it will shift to the left-hand side to remove it. If I add hydroxide ions, the hydroxide ions will react with H+, plus, they will be removed from solution and the equilibrium will shift to the right hand side there. I think this would work fine with marks, it's not too bad, it's just basic buffer theory. Yeah. Right, so buffer calculation now. So you can basically work all these out by using our KA calculator, our KA question. So I want to make a buffer with a pH of 5.000 and it told me the KA of ethanoic acid. I need to calculate the mass of sodium ethanoate I need. So if we think about, we can use Ka here, the first thing I'm going to work out is my concentration of H plus ions. They've told me my pH, so it's 10 to the minus 5 of my pH. 
to give me my concentration of um, buffer solution. So that's it. For my concentration of the base. Concentration of a fan weight. told me is 1.75 times 10 to the minus 5. Concentration of 8 plus we've worked out. Concentration of um, a fan 8 is what I want to find out. Concentration of ethno catalyst we've worked out but we've been told it's 0.2. If you rearrange that your concentration of ethanoate ions comes to 0.35. That's in moles per decimeter cube. But if that's in moles per decimeter cube, what is the volume that they want me to be? They want it to be 400. That's the number of moles I need in a thousand centimetres cube. So, in 400 centimetres cube, I need 0.35 divided by a thousand times by 400. So, I'll need 0.14 moles because it's 0.35 moles in a thousand centimetres cube but I only want to know how much is in 400. The final step, if I know how many moles, how do I convert that into a mass of methanoate, sodium methanoate? Moles and molar mass, yeah. So, mass of sodium methanoate is equal to 0.14 times the molar mass of methanoate, which is 82. And that comes to 11.5 grams required. Okay, Nikki, question seven then. Um, standard definition of electro potential. That's okay, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, and including all your standard uh, conditions that were in that. Uh, write an equation for the open cell reaction. So, which one's going to go forward? Yeah, that was positive. And I need to times that one by two, don't I? Uh, so plus copper goes to copper two plus plus Ag, um, and I need two Ags like that. Explain in terms of equilibrium why um, the cell potential uh, increases. Okay, so we know that that one is going um, that way. That one's going that way. As the reaction proceeds, that is going to the left hand side. What's happening to my, um, if the electron equilibrium has been shifted to the left hand side, what's happening to the number of electrons on my electrode? Increased. It's increasing. So this one is becoming more negative. Okay. What's happening to this one as it shifts that side? This one, I've got less electrons on my electrode, so this one's becoming more more positive. positive. So the difference between these two is increasing, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so you can say that this equilibrium is shifting to the left-hand side more, so it's becoming more negative, and the silver is shifting to the right-hand side, becoming more positive, which increases the um, 
sell potential. Okay. You okay with that? Yeah. Um, then a couple of wordy ones. What advantage of using hydrogen? Well, you have less CO2, that's key, because we're not producing CO2, which we know contributes to global warming. Um, one other way hydrogen can be used um, as a can be stored, sorry, as a fuel for um, vehicles. It can be liquefied, so it's under pressure as a liquid. Can you say fuel? Oh no, no. I said fuel cell. I think they're talking, yeah. yeah. Um, aluminium oxide are being also investigated. What is the standard electric potential for the aluminium redox system? Of this one. Well, the overall cell potential is 2.71. Um, I just use the moon, um, the map. Is going to be the forward minus uh, the backward reaction for this one. So I believe we said it was 2.71 is equal to 0 0.40. Zero point four zero minus the other cell potential um, there, so we should end up with it being two point three one, I believe. Um, and I believe it's got to be minus by the time you transfer that over. So if I move, you happy that if I move that to that side, it becomes plus. Then it becomes E is equal to 0 0.4 minus 2.7, which gives you minus 2.7. Uh, so to construct an overall equation, this equation you need to times by 4, and this equation you need to times by 3. Notice the electrons, that on the left hand side, they're on the right hand side there. So if we do that, it's going to be 4Al plus 16OH minus plus 3O2 plus 6H2O goes to give me 4ALOH4 minus plus 12OH minus. And then the key thing to notice is that you can remove that there and that gives you 4 OH minus there. Okay, so.